Dinosaurs were really scary, but these animals were way scarier. If you thought dinosaurs were scary, you're not gonna believe what these animals look like that are presently on planet Earth. Let's check them out. It's certainly no stretch to say that life would have been much that scarier. That thing's pretty scary. What is scary? That's Jurassic than that. Park right there, boys. But what if I told you the Earth used to be populated by creatures that were even bigger? Batter oh, no. and more ferocious. No, nope, I wouldn't believe you. From supersized serpents no, to no, no, sea that's monsters not real. and bizarro critters. What is that? No, no. not real. You're some You're not telling that me that's myth. real. That's that is a real? Myth. Dinosaurs. Nah, dude. Adam, Adam, I think you could fit in back in those ages. You don't think? <laughs> some of the most terrifying creatures ever to have lived were water dwellers. Dunkleosteus? And Dunkleosteus is certainly Dunkleosteus. No the this brutish fish lived during the late Devonian period. Look at the animal on the bottom right. Look at its eyeballs. Oh my gosh. Bro, it's as old as Alex's mom. It's often referred to as the age of fish. FYI, that's, that's long what they before call the dinosaurs too. walked the earth during <laughs> okay. a time known as the Mesozoic <laughs> Era, between around 245 and 66 this million guy. years ago, which scientists have divided into three periods, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. Uh -huh. The 26 to 32 feet long Dunkleosteus These are real? was streamlined and sharp. Yeah, yeah, that was real. Yeah, head these are all real animals. A mother oh could my love. gosh. Based on its ferocious appearance, you might be surprised to learn that <laughs> it was kind of dumb. <laughs> it was as big as a great white teeth. shark. But don't be fooled. Instead, Did you just look it that had up? <laughs> two long bony blades that could snap and crush. Oh, like a turtle anything. kind of. Yeah. And I do mean Oh, anything. it's like a snapping. Because uh, it's a snapping fish. Was definitely snapping not shark. a fussy eater. It ate fish, sharks, Whoa. and it even ate its own sharks. Body. What? It ate its, its own it's mom? A carnivore. Continuously and rubbed against each other as they moms? did, acting like self-sharpening shears. Whoa. To give you an idea of just how powerful its what? jaws were, that thing scientists braces. Have speculated that they could generate up to 8,000 pounds of no bite way. force per square that inch. That sounds like a lot, but I can't really... Oh, here we go. A lion's bite generates approximately That's 600... Nuts. Nothing. No. Per square inch. Dunkleosteus's fatal oh flaw my gosh. was that it was it's so ten greedy times stronger. that it often suffered from indigestion. <laughs> Fossils oh, Adam, ate too much. Beast have often Adam, been found yeah, that's a that's an Adam problem. And semi-digested oh, remains of fish. You may be glad to know Dunkleosteus oh, wow. isn't around anymore. But yeah, thank if God you want to make that. sure, be amazed and never goes extinct too. You know what to do. That thing Just is awesome. Just shimmy on over to those like and subscribe it. buttons. That is scarier than a great white shark. And don't forget to tickle that little bell. I don't like the way you said. Tickle. Now buckle up for some more goosebump inducing Hit me. Beasts. Hit me with it. All right, what is the next one? Helicoprion. Oh, it teeth! It's if a helicopter shark. The water with it had like a soul. A First teeth. Prospect. Then just wait till you hear about the helicoprion. No way that was real. Adam, Adam, no. that thing looks familiar, doesn't it? A million year old, 20 to no, 25 no, don't say a little bit. fish is the star of one of the most vexing fossil like my mom? mysteries to ever okay. confound paleontologists. Sorry, mom. It all began with the discovery of strange petrified worlds what is that? of elongated teeth. That's the fossil. That looked kind of like That's the inside of his mouth. Russian geologist Alexander Teeth. Like it's Alexander Karpinski coined the name Helicoprion in 1899 oh. after determining that the Ew, man. Were <laughs> that thing wasn't even that old. Look like he got knocked in the jaw. Was that the unusual Look at his feeding nose. apparatus was attached to the nose Wait, of this long dead creature like a permanently rolled up <laughs> But the remains continued to puzzle paleontologists for over a century. Years spent speculating about the true arrangement of the toothy whorl produced a slew of looks bizarre like something visions out of, Godzilla. of sharks with whorls yeah. of teeth He's got teeth hanging there too? An elephant now, shark like dangling from their They're trying to figure jaws, out how it actually looked. Fins, oh. fins, and even embedded deep in their throats. It wasn't until 2013 that a study led by Leif Let's Tepanilla go, Leif. from Idaho State University Correctly proposed Leaf. that the coiled tooth row totally filled the lower jaw in a buzzsaw wow. No. formation. Wow. As the fish aged, new teeth continually formed at the back of the lower okay, jaw. That's what made it a shark. While there were practically no upper teeth spin? to speak of. So how no, did the helicopter catch it. and consume its prey? Terrifyingly, paleontologists suggest that as the jaw closed, the toothy whorl. Oh my god, Alec, like, you're no, right. No How is that way. possible? They it invented chainsaws before already. we even thought the of it. The largest helicoprion specimen ever found had a two foot wide jaw. Oof, thank God this terrifying buzzsaw killer went How? extinct some 200 years Why didn't they make a movie about that ago? thing? Because it's a whole pile of noop. Instead of jaws, they could call it yeah. saws. <laughs>
The simple fact that scientists nicknamed the first racity terror birds should tell you everything you need to know about these frightening uh, creatures. I'm here all day. But I'm gonna go ahead I'm and give day. you the full run. What's wrong with anyway. these birds? After a meteor wiped out the fearsome dinos like the T-Rex and the Velociraptor, yeah. the terror bird rose up to become the top oh. land predator in South oh, America, okay. a title they defended for their oh, bigger than saber two tigers. It looks like the thing from up. These feathered beasts grew up to ten feet tall and had T-Rex like So it's, it's like a T-Rex ostrich. That sever the yeah. spinal cord of the horse with it, one it, That's a blow. whole horse. Their reign of, well, terror began before what we now know as Central that's America good. That's existed. That's good. When South America was still So they can't get island. to us. Pangea. Well, the likes of the saber-toothed cats and wolves took over the job of top predators elsewhere. Most of the mammals in South America what is that? were is that a, happy herbivores. Was a beaver? This provided they got the terror birds ravaged by those birds. Oh my goodness. Animals to feast on without that any armadillo is trembling. These swift-moving creatures were equipped with a pickaxe-like beak, which they used to strike down oh. birds. And fatally oh, flat. they the didn't even break the spine. Oh, they cracked the skull. I feel like that's a WWE that's move. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Wow. Their bony heads could Alec, act as you think you could take it? Meat tenderizer. Yeah. And they would I would just grab its neck, choke it out. Clawed feet to kick Easy. the living daylights. Oh, oh my gosh! Dude. It's During a mixed They don't even have arms, arms dude. dude. <laughs> they walk around like this. Get this guy the size of the UFC. Came and went. They throw roundhouse kicks. All together about 2.5 million years ago. Makes you appreciate street pigeons a little more, doesn't it? No, I mean, not really. <laughs> what is Flatty wrong with that thing? No! Okay, that's not real. That cannot be real. Regular that looks like a crypto zoo fusion. Terrifying. You replace its trunk with an enormous fleshy spore. Huh? That's how. This fantastical nah. creature huh? may look like it was dreamed up by an imaginative seven-year-old, but travel back in time between 8 million and 20 million years ago, and you'll see for yourself. What? <laughs> oh, I don't want to imagine the type of sound that that thing made. This ancestor of the modern elephant had a strange jutting jaw that actually consisted of a pair of wide What is that for? Tusks, it looks like a shovel. Which, by the way, Scooping? are just modified inside. Yeah, Scooping? that's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah, what was like the a shovel. purpose of this bizarre tool? After all, animals don't waste energy Aww. developing worthless characteristics. When the platybelodon was first described in the 1920s, <laughs> it was thought that there was a the were to shovel Scoop, uh, dig, yeah. and just ate dirt. So oh my god! It's in like an excavator, like a I feel like I'm a direct in. descendant of this. <laughs> but in 1992, <laughs> paleontologist David Lambert proposed that Work they that were job, also Adam. used as Wait. scythe-like oh, weapons Wait, that could slice through thick vegetation. Instead of roaming shorelines, wow. Platybelodon wandered around Miocene Asia, Africa, and North America right. oh, crap. on that. terrestrial plants, grasping branches with its trunk and cutting them away with those specialized built-in scythes. Because these fleshy sports This thing is crazy. Things. Guys, that's a real fossil. Like, these are real animals. They were at some point. That actually existed. What if, like, it, it, it's not a whole fossil, though, and they just glued parts together and were just like, ta-da! You no, know? Like, what the if they just glued things on? Alec, what? They wouldn't look at, lie look to at us, the beak. Okay? Look at the beak. It looks like they just, like, put it on top, and we're like, okay, Alec, this somewhat fits. This isn't Cryptozoo. They're not going to lie to us. Exactly. This isn't I a don't scam. know. I, I, I don't know. I, I've seen theories where they just kind of put bones in different places and just say, voila. Voila, that's a dinosaur. But they don't really Where'd know 100%. Where'd you hear that theory from? Comment down below where TikTok, you guys think. I'm coming down, I'm hitting you. Don't believe everything you hear on the internet, guys. Now let's yeah, believe this. Let's, let, let's watch this. Don't fossilize as I hope it's as real, because this thing is cool. We're actually pretty lucky to know much about these bizarre creatures at all. Thankfully, they did us a big favor by dying sometimes oh, in mass. Yeah! What? <laughs> to or in rivers, which are prime they spots don't seem for easy They're herbivores. fossilization. Oh, Although they, they fossilized may not themselves. have posed a major mm. threat to humans if they were still around today, it's safe to say that these animals. <laughs> I love that picture. It looks like a duck. It looks like the duck. That's face. the funniest looking elephant ever. It's like a, it's like a platypus Andrew elephant. Sarchus. Wait, what? It's hard to imagine anything. That with sounds the like name a person. Andrew somehow being more terrifying than a dinosaur. But uh, this what is no, oh, no. no. Although no complete Andrew Sarkis skeleton has ever been found. Part of a skull from one of these bad boys discovered in Mongolia oh. in 1923 measured nearly three feet long. Just the Expedition head. leader Roy Just Holy head. Andrews decided that the animal must have been a carnivore because of its massive teeth. It had to and be. And named it Andrew like Sarkis Mongoliensis. After himself, of course. To this day, this is the only specimen wow. ever found belonging to this terrifying species, that is which enormous. roamed Asia some 45 to 36 million years ago. That's kind of crazy that they only ever found Eocene one fossil. Era. 
paleontologists built up an impression of the rest of the animal's body. Why do they make the body so tiny? Well, the head's huge. I, I know, know, so make the body huge. They said paleontologists made like a sketch of the rest of the body. They made no, it so tiny. They, they saw this. They, they have the full skeleton, and the, but they only found half of the top of the head. So the only thing they're missing is the jaw. We'll Are never you know sure? for sure. We don't know. Don't yeah, believe everything you hear on the internet, guys. Yeah, don't believe everything that you that you see on the internet, Adam. Skull. But they wouldn't lie to us. And it's relation to another bear-like prehistoric creature. Oh, it was like a bear. Mesonyx. Okay. The result is a 16 Yo. foot oh my gosh. six foot high vision of pure nightmare. That fuel. is a wolf dog. This heavily built wolf-like animal walked on four short legs. So it's and a had giant a long bear. Body and tail with hoofed feet. Wow. It had a terrifying snout with large bone crushing wow. teeth that could have weighed anywhere like between wow. 1,764 pounds to over 2,200 pounds. Oh my pounds. God, it's almost as much as Alex. I, I, I did see that one coming. I'm sorry, okay. Alex. It's, right. it's a coming That's, Alex video. All right. All right, let's let's continue. Let's move on. You do let's have on. a jaw that's just like that. He didn't that. deny it. He did not deny it. Like that jaw? It's a strong jaw. That is a strong jaw. In case you needed any more reason to quiver in fear, this monumental size makes <laughs> Andrew Sarkis the largest known See? meat eating land. They need to make the body bigger. Lived. Did you hear that? It's the largest known meat eating animal ever. T Rex. What? What about T Rex? It's bigger than a T Rex. No, it's not. It just, it, they just said that, bro. They just no. said that. The, no, no, I'm no. reloading it. I'm reloading the thing. It's Andrew Sarkis, the largest known meat-eating land mammal that ever lived. It's six feet and oh, 16 mammal. feet wide ever. It's they the said mammal. They said mammal. That is the distinguishing factor. Oh. I think Jack is having a panic attack. You all right, Jack? <laughs> it's, it's, it's extinct, Jack. It's, it's going to be okay. It's, it's, not, it's not alive anymore. Just play, play, play the video. The biggest meat-eating animal these days is Adam. Just play the video. All right, let's go. I don't know what he's Strangely saying. Strangely enough, though, these hoofed beasts were actually thought to be more closely related to hippos and whales, oh, yeah. both belonging to a larger what they order say about of animals Alec. called artiodactyls. <laughs> because Andrew Sarkis is only known from a skull and a few other bones, whether it was an active predator or merely an oversized scavenger is up for debate, but I certainly wouldn't want to take my chances. Titan no, no that's not real. If you're scared of snakes, now might be a time to grab a quick snake. Just so is it the isn't the biggest snake today like 30 feet long? Isn't it crazy? Like, the I think anaconda? Like 26. I think so, yeah. Like 26, 27 26? is like the longest that it gets. I don't know Probably. if there's been a 30 footer. So those are alive just, today. You should be scared today. They yeah. are, but we don't know how big this thing is yet. <laughs> how big do you think? I'm thinking 60 feet. I'm gonna say at least 100 feet. I'm thinking it's I was, pretty good. I was gonna say 100. I was gonna say 100. 100, 100 feet. Based right, on that let's, picture. Let's right, we're out. thinking at least 100 feet. 60 million Years what ago, are those? The is that Lapras? In the swampy waters of what is now Colombia, there lurked the biggest snake. No, that has what is that? Lucky that is that not real. Doesn't Titanoboa. exist. There's no way. Clocking in at nearly 50 feet long. Oh, that's oh. nothing, dude. It's look at its girth, though. Yeah, look how pounds. fat that dude, thing is. Dude, 2,500 pounds. That's heavier than the last 50 thing. 50 feet. 50 that thing could, could gobble up a hippo. I feel I like if it ate me, I would just be living inside of it. Like I could have an apartment, a kitchen, a bedroom, some lady friend. You could at least have some 800 square foot studio in there. This yeah. Super we could be recording this video in his heavy mouth. As the green <laughs> anaconda that rules those same stomping grounds today. Sadly though, Titanoboa never went toe to toe with the T-Rex. Existing just a few oh, million years after epic. the fall of the dinosaurs, Titanoboa reigned over the immense swampy jungle where everything was hotter, wetter, and bigger than it is today. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, where's that at? <laughs> it's hotter, it's wetter, and everything's bigger. Where is that? It's uh, can uh, we Columbia. Move there? Oh, Columbia. All right. Yeah, we gotta, if this we video gotta gets 10,000 likes, we're taking a trip. <laughs> With this general theme of bigness, <laughs> Titanoboa was so large that it pretty much defied the laws of <laughs> physics. You see, every living creature has evolved under the constraints Look, they, they of They threw gravity. a cell phone in the last The guy. only reason why ludicrously massive creatures like the 100-foot blue whale are able mm -hmm. to exist is because gravity doesn't affect giants as much in the sea. Scientists speculate that this is what Titanoboa must have exploited to reach its enormous mm. size. Lives in the, the water. The creature was so outsized that it probably wasn't able to get around on land very well and must have spent a large part of its time in the water. Wow, behaving that's more scary. like a water dwelling anaconda, despite looking something like yeah. a modern day boa constrictor. Yeah. That makes you sense. Just imagine taking a dip in the river only dead. to spot the skin of one of these enormous beasts on the GGs. bank nearby. If you're wondering what Titanoboa ate, the simple answer is anything it laid its eyes on. 
The giant snake wow. was an ambush predator and relied on its incredible strength to squeeze the life out of its prey. How would this ambush anything? It's 2,500 pounds. Wouldn't you hear that from two miles away? Well, not it was in the probably water. kind of fast, dude. You think of modern day snakes, they're pretty quick. That's I wonder crazy. if they ever like got tangled up in like a pretzel when they were going between trees. Because they're so long. They're 50 feet long. They might be able to I wonder if they got like, tangled up, but like, maybe they put themselves in a knot and just got stuck. You know? I wonder if they ever fought each other, too. And they probably. got like, all, oh all like, wound up together. I've seen snakes eat snakes. Do snakes lay, snakes lay eggs, right? Dude, yeah, they yeah. do. How big is this egg? That must have been the biggest egg ever. Titan Bigger than Alex's head, for sure. And hunted mostly oh large reptiles, <laughs> gobbling down giant turtles and even crocodiles. Why and even when <laughs> Titanoboa went extinct remains a mystery. But just imagine the havoc they wreak on us puny no. humans. Is that, if they that's no. eating a helicopter. Like that, that is it? There's no way it's Jake eating a helicopter. Oh my gosh. Three words. Smash. Giant C scorpion. I bet you never thought you'd hear nope. those together in a sentence about a real is life. Is that animal. a World of Warcraft you character? Be to I think know it was that the on the last yeah. group of Eurypterids, like also known as crab. sea scorpions, how big which was this thing? The arthropod order were mostly small creatures. It's honestly, not that scary. Kind of looks like a Kabutops. That yeah, is, like a except for the okay. nightmare-inducing Jacolopterus, which lived around what 460 saying, million yeah, years ago during the Silurian period. This spiky sea scorpion was grew it? up to eight feet in length, oh. easily making it the largest arthropod ever known. What do you mean, oh? Alec, that's bigger I mean, than I you! Mean, the picture prior made it look like it was 30 feet. Yeah, it's bigger than you! I was expecting you. it to be the size of like a leviathan or I something. Take something it. I big and menacing. It. I would probably eat this thing if I could. Yeah, Imagine yeah. an eight foot crab, please, please. Adam, that could feed your family for weeks. Maybe not you, but a normal family. You can chop necks, like chop your neck. Get, oh, your neck. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, but you can only chop two at a time, and then you, boom, third person goes in, kills it. And then you got That's food for years. That's a good point. Man, Adam, you didn't think of that. Point. Adam, you didn't think of that. What happens? Okay, okay, three, Adam, three people. We, Adam, we have, we have bums. I have two we hands have bums. Free We have fire. Nah. Adam, I could literally, I could, I could go to Walmart and get things necessary to take this thing down in three seconds. You're also not thinking about how stupid the thing probably is. Like, it, it, it's not going to go snap, snap, snap. It's going to go, oh, it human. Has to be, yeah, yeah, you're right. uh, it does have to be pretty stupid uh, if it is extinct. And by then, by then, we got it. I think we could take it. <laughs> All we gotta do is just get a giant net, put it over top of it, pff, done. That's easy. That's easy. You you convinced me. I'm in. <laughs> All right, we're not scared of this thing anymore. For a better idea of what it looked like, just imagine those face huggers from the Alien franchise no. scaled up to huge proportions with the ability to swim thrown in. That is actually kind of scary. Its segmented paddle-shaped body was similar to that of the bizarre horseshoe that. crab, except, I you know, say that. much more giant. Yeah. Jacolopterus moved swiftly underwater thanks to its oar-like back hey, legs, hey. which allowed it to swim rapidly after so it. Adam, you should be able to move pretty quick Beside underwater too then. its specialized limbs, I'd be moving this underwater. marine monster was also equipped with huge spring-loaded claws, but which what it, it used it to snatch up fish as they passed huh. by. One Not humans, though. spike claw discovered in 2007 even measured a whopping 18 inches across. That There's is no denying oh. that if it's this like giant sea scorpion had existed today, it could have used these grasping claws to grab you in a <laughs> deadly embrace and crush oh your skull gosh. like an almond. The reign of the Eurypterids, including the terrifying like Jacolopterus, was eventually brought to a sudden end thanks to the Permian extinction around yeah. 200. Let's go. I love that. I'm a big fan of the Permian extinction, ago, ah. which wiped out That's one of my favorite, favorite extinctions actually yeah. <laughs> of all marine life on Earth. Phoberomus patterseni. Guinea pigs. You may have noticed that okay. many Giant animals in the prehistoric This one is not scarier than dinosaurs. Come on. Up jumbo hey, what was the title of, of this video? Of animals that still Animals that are scarier than dinosaurs. There's mm -hmm, no way a giant mm -hmm. beaver is. Let's let I mean, come on, I mean, let's see what it is. <laughs> Unless it's 30 feet. <laughs> what if it shoots out poison from its eyeballs? I mean, what if it takes has, giant turds? <laughs> this has to be one crazy beaver to be scarier than a T-Rex. Introduce you to perhaps the most unnerving example of that theme. Phoberomus Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> ah! really oh my gosh, no, dude. Ah! Rodents Not the Phoberomus Patterson. Words. Clocking no! out around 10 feet long with another five feet of worth of tail to boot. Remains of these repulsive That's a giant rats have been recovered from several sites in Argentina, Brazil, and Venezuela over Boom. the years. You guys are scared of like little rats. Just imagine it 30, 40 times bigger than what it is now. The bigger it is, the easier it is to kill. I've seen Alex scream like a tiny little girl on a three foot rat. Oh, wait. No, a like six inch rat. What? Where are you finding these rats? <laughs> three first foot of rat all, would be huge. First of all, that's not <laughs> yeah, that's true for rat. everyone watching. I don't get scared of <laughs> 
rats. Second no, of all, Alec is scared of women. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but second of all, if there was a little mini one foot T-Rex running around my house, I would be way more scared than a one that foot is rat. No. That is true. No. Than a rat? I'm more scared. I'm more scared yes. of Petey than I am of that rat. A little T-Rex? Yeah. Like Come on, Adam, you lost this one. You lost this one, Adam. No, a, a tiny tiny rat is way not scarier than today. a tiny T-Rex. I will die on that grave. Okay. Although their well, closest die, living then. relative is the humble guinea pig, they were more similar <laughs> the, the, the in guinea appearance pig, Adam. to <laughs> modern-day capybaras. It's a guinea pig. Despite being much bigger and heavier. Jesus. Things got a belly Examinations on of the skeletons of these creepy ratzillas suggest that they probably weighed around 800 kilograms. Wow. Which is around the same size wow. as an American oh, okay, bison. Oh, so it's like a bison. Phoberomus pattersonis yeah. high Hind limbs were massive That's bigger than I thought. To slender front limbs. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I could take a bison. Which it probably rested on its no. haunches while feeding, using smaller forelimbs to gather plant material. Much like the capybara, <laughs> That's how Adam does had it. a deep set jaw and sharp front teeth, which were adapted for their gritty oh herbivorous gosh. diet. Although they were plant eaters, these tremendous rodents would have had foot-long incisors capable of causing some serious damage if Only you were Only if they can them. catch me. Okay. Why do they have to show us that, though? Unnecessary. Near shore Scare us. Swamps until they mysteriously disappeared some 8 million years ago. So, next time you squirm at the size of a rat on the street, just remember, it could be much worse. That's pretty good, Adam. Mouth wire, though. Oh. It's not unusual for no. paleontologists that? to have trouble deciphering That's an what alien. an animal looks like, especially when it's been extinct for 400 million years. Oh my years. god, that is a long time. But the case of hallucinogenia was still much harder than most. Mm. In fact, scientists studied this thumb-sized worm for more than 50 years Why before they were able to what determine is that? where its head it's a worm. was. Take one look at this utterly like super ludicrous creature it's got and you'll see on what it. I mean. Back in 1977, British paleontologist Simon Conway Morris happened upon a bizarre half-inch long fossil okay. that had been found in That's the Burgess big. Shale in the Canadian Rockies 66 years earlier. It had already been classified as an annelid worm, which includes leeches and earthworms, but Conway Morris didn't agree. In his opinion, the wacky organism could actually walk on several pairs of stilt-like spines, while it also had it numerous down? tentacles sticking out of its back. I think so. He named the creature Hallucigenia because it was so nonsensical, it resembled something you'd hallucinate during a bad trip. But There's in no way this is real. Researchers Lars Ramskold and Ha Ziaguan turned Conway Morris's idea upside down, literally. What he had identified as tentacles were actually the creature's legs. So Whoa. the model was flipped. The it's spines, kind of now located on the creature's back, were probably used for defense. It wasn't until 2015 that further analysis conducted by Martin Smith from the University of Cambridge using an electron microscope and samples from the Burgess Shale revealed which end was the worm's head, complete with not only a pair of eyes, but a big smile of grinning oh, wow. teeth. Although scientists don't know exactly what Hallucigenia ate, the ring of teeth around its mouth were probably used to suck water and food into the gut. It may have been tiny, but there's no denying this floppy hallucination is seriously unnerving. I would kill it. If you try to step on it. You would get Most hit people feel uneasy around I have regular shoes. sized I feel like creepy I'd be crawlies, fine. but millions of oh, years God, ago, I hate these no. fearful creatures no. No. Giant, giant no. I, I can't watch wrestling. Case no. Point, Anthropleura. No. An eight uh, and a half no, 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 no. What? Why are they smiling? In the late Carboniferous. No, that is dude. gross. Around 359 to 299 million years ago. Although it's likely that Anthropleura was herbivorous. Oh, it's not a spider. It's this thing. on okay. dead plant matter like modern day millipedes. There's no denying that it was still pretty darn terrifying. Fossil trackways that have been discovered suggest that these massive millipedes could move at speed, undulating hundreds of huge legs with unnerving rhythm okay. and swerving to avoid trees That's and gross. other obstacles. Anthropleura that were the crazy. largest land invertebrates no, I of refuse all time, to believe. which means it's highly unlikely I they had I would scream so predators. loud if I saw that Their thing. Their segmented bodies <laughs> were so flexible, they could probably rear up to a defensive posture what? and no. look oh straight my in gosh. the eyes if they wanted That is the closest thing these to an alien, right? These insects went yeah. extinct soon Soon after the end of the Carboniferous period, when the moist climate it's crazy how many different out, animals dramatically reducing the rainforests rain the that were their natural habitats. I would carry around a flamethrower if that thing still existed. Bugs nowadays. Well, the leading theory is that prehistoric insects got so big because they benefited from the surplus oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere. 
During the period when Anthropleura lived, the rise of vast lowland swamp forests led to atmospheric oxygen levels of around 30%. That's almost 50% higher than current levels. So next time someone says climate change isn't real, just introduce them to this super freaky, supersized millipede. All right, I will. will do. Oh no, oh, this one's one of my oh, favorites. No. If you're a fan this of the Jurassic sick. World movies, you may what already is that? be familiar with the what Mosasaurus, the is that? thanks to this awesome the Mosasaurus. Scene. Yeah. You know this thing. Oh! Oh my that gosh! That thing was real. No, no, it's it was not. It's not fake. That thing but existed. Thing is, You're telling me that's not CGI. Isn't technically a dinosaur. These great marine reptiles are actually closely related to snakes and monitor lizards, but that doesn't make oh, them yeah, any less tail. terrifying. This gigantic warm like blooded snake swam the seas around nah. the globe some 80 to 66 million years That's ago. That's not even that long Though ago. Though no complete specimens That's have ever been found, paleontologists speculate that Mosasaurus probably reached lengths of 45 no. to 50 feet and weighed That's around as long as a snake. Half tons. It could eat a great white shark. Five and a half tons. City bus Dead and heavier than two adult rhinoceros. Look a little closer, and you'll see that the captive Mosasaurus from the Jurassic World oh movies my gosh. has two extra rows. No. That is insane. That's a shark. That's a full shark right there. Mouth. That's a killer great white you shark. You might think that this is just a classic example of movie makers bending the truth for dramatic effect, but no. They did their research. Just like modern day snakes, Mosasaurus had pterygoid or fanged teeth inside their massive maw, which were anchored to bones in the roof of their mouth. These teeth, which were embedded in the fleshy tissue of their I'm gums, running made it easier to grip and swallow you're running. their prey underwater. I'm swimming fast. Because of their relation to yeah, snakes, you're running, you're probably good. Sure. like the Komodo dragon, it's even possible that they had huge forked tongues. Ew. But we may never know for sure because soft Ugh. tissues rarely fossilize. It should come as no surprise that Mosasaurus were wildly successful predators. Stomach contents have revealed that these aquatic brutes ate ammonites, bony fish, sea turtles, other prehistoric reptiles like Plesiosaurus, oh. And even seabirds. Holy Their fossils cow. have been found on every continent on Earth, even Antarctica. Wow. That they thing was even running used to be everywhere. dominant marine predators during the Cretaceous period. I'm surprised period. they went extinct. Uh, until the KPG extinction well, event. There you that go. Ended the dinos. I am not surprised why they went extinct. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a huge asteroid. Triassic Kraken. What? It's real? For centuries. No. Fishermen have told tales of How a big? terrifying no asteroid capable of capsizing a ship and gobbling up its crew. No. The Kraken. These oh! humongous beasts have made their way into their face. No, that <laughs> image was not real. That was disgusting. Did that looks like a, a really worm. Exist? In 1857, Danish naturalist Japetus Steenstrup examined a large Japetus. washed up squid beak measuring about three inches across. That's not that big. He concluded that the Kraken oh. was real. Oh, wait, what? And that it was a species of giant squid he named Architetheus ducks, or ruling oh. squid. Since then, about 21 species of giant squid have been described, each from different body parts washed Whoa. up on the shore. These elusive creatures roam the depths of the ocean, but it's hard to know exactly how big they get, because whole specimens are hardly ever well, found. Well, that looks pretty big. Some estimates suggest that the colossal squid, the largest living species known feet. only from beaks found in sperm whale stomachs, 30 might feet, come on. weigh up to 1,500 what? pounds. What? And these and things are around right now. 33 in feet? In our ocean. Wait, that. wait, wait, wait are you serious? In size proportions. But did such a beast once lurk in prehistoric waters? It would have been way bigger. Well, Professor Mark McMiniman of Mount Holyoke <laughs> College in South Hadley, you Massachusetts, gotta meet him. thinks so. That dude knows According things. According to McMiniman, there could have been whopping 100-foot snakes in the early Triassic period. 100 feet long. That's bigger than no, that snake. No. That's twice that's as three big. three times the size of our no. house. No. Our house? Do you guys think, like, what about in a million years from now, people are, like, really tiny, and they go back and get our fossils, and they're like, dude, people a million years ago were six feet tall we actually we've been getting taller actually we used to be a lot shorter like a couple thousand years ago yeah that's true oh so that is happening but in the opposite way yeah, yeah we're, we're like yeah hey, look how tiny these stupid people were back that's then like when, yeah when we see a short person we laugh like ah and then we don't well no, also I don't the neanderthals no, no. and like early humans they were only like three to four feet tall on average we actually that. yeah they were just little midget people running around doing midget things no they were like hobbits pretty much yeah Tom. think of a hobbit i think they were giant just, heads they were just people at that point if think ever, about if everyone was 
just three squish to five feet. Squish them down. Then wait. Squish them. So like a giant to them would be like a me. Yeah, that would be like an app. <laughs> Adam, you could probably take on like five Neanderthals. <laughs> now they know how to fight though. They got spears and slingshots. Sure, they are thick and hairy. There have been whopping 100 foot squids in the early Triassic period that preyed on that is ridiculous which were school bus oh my sized gosh, marine is reptiles out. that looked a bit like modern day I would dolphins. be too McMiniman first presented the idea in 2011 at the annual meeting of the Geological Society of America in Minneapolis we gotta go next year he based his hypothesis on the bizarre discovery of nine fossilized vertebrae from ichthyosaurus in Nevada arranged in linear patterns that he argues resembles that pattern of the sucker discs on cephalic tentacles McMiniman referred to the fact that modern-day cephalopods are intelligent creatures and that octopuses have been known to collect bones, oh my gosh, shells, and rocks Huge. for their dens. But other paleontologists People aren't say I so resemble convinced, an octopus. with some critics pointing to the lack of evidence that cephalopods actually stockpile their prey. Mm. Others have even accused McMiniman of simply reading the bones at the Nevada site like prehistoric tea leaves. But in 2013, McMiniman returned to the Nevada site so and happy another fossil this time a fragment that he thinks is the tip of a huge beak belonging to a Triassic crack no. unfortunately no. the unidentified fossil is too fragmentary to prove the size of the cephalopod it may have belonged oh. to while there's certainly little evidence of a truly monstrous squid crazy. alive today, McMiniman's theory suggests that there is reason to believe that squid reached stupendous sizes in the distant past. And when we consider that only 5% of the vast ocean has been explored so far, it's entirely possible that something much bigger and I'm not going in the ocean. Oh ever my again. gosh, tell me that thing's in the ocean. Human no. Age. I'm never going in the ocean ever again. Those cannot I be can't. real. I'm never going in the ocean. 10,000 likes and Jack goes in the ocean. Uh, please don't leave a like. I have a family. If you guys like that video, click this one right here.